If you're building with the Intel Core i5-14600K, the motherboard you choose will decide how well the CPU actually performs. The right board keeps boosts steady, temps under control, and your build future ready. The wrong one holds the chip back from day one. So in this video, you'll see the motherboards that actually make sense for the 14600K, including my best budget pick, the best overall choice, and a premium option that's worth the upgrade. Plus, smart alternatives for different case sizes and use cases. You can find links to all motherboards mentioned in the description. So let's start with the best budget options first. When you look at the true budget boards for the i5-14600K, the first thing you notice is that most of them simply aren't built for a CPU that boosts this hard. Weak VRMs mean throttling, missing features means upgrades later, and a lot of boards feel outdated the moment you install them. Only a few stand out. So let's start by comparing the ones that actually make sense. Right away, the boards worth talking about are ASRock's B760M PG Riptide Wi-Fi, MSI's B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4, and Asus's Tough Gaming B760 Plus Wi-Fi. All three avoid the usual budget pitfalls. They don't support CPU overclocking because of the B-series chipset, but for a 14600K running at stock, what matters most is that they maintain full turbo speeds without VRM overheating, and these are the only ones in the budget tier that do it consistently. Now here's where things narrow down. The board that pulls ahead is the ASRock B760M PG Riptide Wi-Fi. This one is repeatedly recommended for the 14600K because it brings something rare at this price, a genuinely strong 14 plus 1 plus 1 VRM design. For a budget board, that's impressive. It means you can run the CPU at full turbo power for long gaming sessions or heavy tasks without watching clock speeds dip. And for a budget build, stable performance matters more than fancy extras. It also hits the right notes for features. DDR5 support so you don't lock yourself into the older platform, 2.5 gigabit ethernet networking, Wi-Fi on the Wi-Fi model, and enough PCIe 4.0 M2 slots for fast storage. And since it's micro ATX, it fits perfectly in compact mid-towers where airflow is tighter. Another advantage for budget builders. So the board that makes the most sense at this level is the ASRock B760M PG Riptide Wi-Fi. It focuses on the one thing a 14600K truly demands at this price, reliable power delivery without overspending. If you want an ATX layout and already have DDR4 you want to reuse, the MSI B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4 is the smarter alternative. It keeps costs down while offering a strong layout and clean rear I.O. And if you want DDR5 and a sturdier design, Asus's tough B760 Plus Wi-Fi is the ATX option that still stays in the realistic budget tier. Now, let's move into the category most builders focus on, the best overall value tier. Here, you're not just looking for stability, you're looking for a board that unlocks CPU overclocking, brings modern connectivity, and offers enough headroom for future upgrades without wandering into unnecessary premium prices. The boards that stand out are MSI Pro Z790A Max Wi-Fi, MSI Mag Z790 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi, and Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Elite AX. All three are Z790 boards, which means full CPU overclocking, strong power delivery, PCIe 5.0 GPU support, and multiple M2 slots for fast storage. Here's where things get interesting. Each one is strong, but one of them consistently delivers the best balance of performance, features, and long-term value, and that's the MSI Pro Z790A Max Wi-Fi. Its strength comes from doing the fundamentals extremely well. The 16 plus 1 plus 1 VRM handles the 14600K without breaking a sweat, even if you push a mild overclock. You get built-in Wi-Fi 7, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet LAN, 4 PCIe 4.0 M2 slots, and a very clean ATX layout that works great for gaming or productivity. And unlike some boards in this tier, it avoids unnecessary gamer tax features that inflate the price for no real gain. This is why many reviewers call it the sweet spot. It delivers everything the average 14600K build needs without drifting into the higher price bands that don't add practical value for this CPU. If you want something a little more performance-focused with beefier heatsinks and a more enthusiast-leaning design, 
then MSI Z790 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi is the natural next step. It shares similar VRM strength, but is tuned for builders who care about cooler VRMs and a more premium feel. If you want a clean white build or prefer Gigabyte's BIOS, the Z790 Oris Elite AX Ice is the go-to alternative. It performs well, looks fantastic, and matches the 14600K perfectly for mid-range and upper mid builds. So the board that fits the best overall value label most naturally is the MSI Pro Z790A Max Wi-Fi. It's the right mix of modern features, unlocks full CPU potential, and avoids paying extra for features you don't actually use. Next, let's see the high-end options. Here we go one level higher, not extreme overkill, but the premium tier that actually makes sense for a mid-range CPU. This is where you want better heatsinks, more M2 slots, cleaner layouts, and upgraded connectivity without stepping into the overpriced territory meant for i9 overclocking. So here are the three boards in play. Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Pro X Wi-Fi 7, MSI MPG Z790 Carbon Max Wi-Fi 2, and Asus ROG Strix Z790 F Gaming Wi-Fi. Each offers stronger VRMs, cleaner cable routing, and high-end features. The MSI Carbon Max is the more RGB-friendly, overbuilt option. The ROG Strix Z790F leans into refined tuning tools, polished BIOS controls, and a clean ROG look. Both are excellent, but both aim a bit higher in price. The board that lands in the perfect premium but reasonable zone is the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Pro X Wi-Fi 7. It brings an 18 plus 1 plus 2 VRM that's more than enough for a 14600K, supports Wi-Fi 7, includes one PCIe 5.0 M2 slot alongside four PCIe 4.0 M2 slots, and delivers one of the nicest ATX layouts Gigabyte has ever made. It looks premium, it feels premium, and it performs like a top high-end board without drifting into flagship-only territory. If your budget allows and you want something flashier, the MSI Carbon Max Wi-Fi 2 becomes the natural step up. If you want ROG BIOS tools and a stylish build, the Z790F Gaming Wi-Fi is the one that fits that direction but for a premium choice that still matches the 14600K's class without overshooting it, the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Pro X Wi-Fi is the clear winner. Finally, let's see a few more options for specific use cases and form factors. If you're building in a smaller mid-tower, the Micro ATX ASRock B760 MPG Riptide is ideal in the budget category because of its shorter board height and simpler cable paths. If you're doing a mini ITX build, the Asus ROG Strix B760i Gaming Wi-Fi 6E is the right compact choice for stock operation. ITX boards cost more by nature, but this one stays stable with the 14600K and keeps the build footprint tiny without jumping to overpriced Z-series ITX models. If you want a white-themed build, the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Elite AX Ice or the Z790 Aorus Pro X Wi-Fi 7 match the look while still pairing smartly with a mid-range CPU. And finally, if you prefer to reuse DDR4, the MSI B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4 is the most sensible path. You don't give up performance at stock speeds, and you save money that you can put toward the GPU.